Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. As you can see, I'm at Celtic Park. I did a video the other day where I spoke to Rangers fans ahead of the new season. And today I'm gonna to speak to one of Celtic's biggest fans, Ryan Fitzsimons, or you may know him as Ryan118, or part of the uh, Talk Scottish Football podcast. I'll put all his links down in the description box below. I'm gonna be chatting to him today about uh, the new season, how he thinks Celtic might do. Celtic, the day that I'm filming this, the day I'm filming it is the day after they just lost, got knocked out of the Champions League. It's Danish side Michelin. So yeah, I don't know how uh, how he's going to be feeling after that, or how like the fans are feeling after it. But um, yeah, we'll be getting his thoughts. We'll be getting his thoughts on Ange Postecoglou on the Scottish Premiership, how he thinks they'll do. Um, but yeah, I'll uh, introduce him when he gets here. Hope you enjoyed the video. Remember to hit that like button. Remember to subscribe if you're new. We're getting towards 25k subs now. It'd be great to see you around here more often. Like I say, hope you enjoyed this video. See you again when Ryan's here. So guys, I'm here with uh, Ryan Fitzsimons again. I've already introduced you on the channel, so if you'd just like to uh, let everyone know where they can find you. Yeah, you can find me over at Ryan118, that's, yep. uh, that's the place. Perfect, and um, you're also uh, doing some podcasts with the lads, aren't you? The Talk yes. Scottish Football Pods. I'm got the Talk Scottish Football Podcast, got the Celtic Thunder Podcast. It's gone well, it's, been, it's, been, yeah. it's good, especially with the football being back. Of course, summer, yeah. so. so mate, behind you is a picture of uh, the Lisbon Lions lifting the European Cup. Um, obviously, last night, the day that we're filming this, yesterday was uh, Midgeland away, if I'm even saying it right. What are your thoughts, firstly, on that? Well, you know, it's disappointing, of course. That's four years in the bounce that we are failed to make the Champions League. It's, yeah. it's unacceptable, to be honest, for a club of Celtic size. I mean, you're looking at that behind you. I mean, they're never going to lift it again, probably, yeah, yeah. with the way football is going. But, you know, you at least want to get a good goal. Of um, course. But last night was really disappointing. It's ultimately the board that's led us in this situation. I feel sorry for Ange. I feel sorry for the players because they've just not got the right amount of quality. They're just now, you can't expect them to compete with that. Yep, and you mentioned the like four years on the bounce. This has been the same round that you've gone out at. I was going to ask you because I saw that on your channel yep. um, that you'd said that this was the fourth year on the bounce this has happened. Do you think that is like the level now of Scottish teams or do you think Celtic have underachieved a little bit well, in that time? It's definitely underachievement. I mean, you look at Rangers, the way they've been playing in Europe the last few years, they've been brilliant. Um, and we've had our ups and downs, of course, but this is Celtic should be making the Champions League every mm -hmm. year. And Rangers, we'll see how they get on when they do their qualifiers. It is a tough competition, of course. It's yeah. hard to compete with a lot of these, these clubs and the money they get. But at the end of the day, a club of our size, a team that's won the competition in the past, we should be there. So of I course. think it is underachieving. The board underestimate how much this means to the fans. I yeah, think. yeah. And so for Europe going forward then, um, Europa League, like what, what are your expectations, what are your hopes with the squad? At this point, just make it. Yeah. <laughs> just hope we make the Europa League. Um, if we make the right additions to the side, I think that it's a team that could go into the Europa League and compete again and hopefully make it to knockout stages. But yeah. they can't do that without the investments, so the board need to hurry up and move. And I just want to give a really quick shout out to one of my viewers, Ryan, who's reached out and told me that he's, he's walking from Celtic Park to Anfield from yeah Glasgow to Liverpool. It's going to take him a few weeks and um, yeah, he's raising money for the Teenage Cancer Trust. So an absolutely great initiative there from Ryan. Absolutely brilliant. And um, yeah, I'll leave all his links below. So if you want to donate, go and do so now. It's a great cause and it goes through the awards, the Teenage Cancer Trust. So yeah, back to the video. Neil Lennon on the right. So he was the, f he has been the manager, of course, a couple of times. Anyone else up there who's been the gaffer? because I wouldn't mind transitioning from this, uh, talking about the managers, into Big Ange. <laughs> yeah. Kenny, Kenny's a manager, but he never managed. Did he manage to sell it? For a caretaker for yeah, yeah. like Well, maybe if, uh, if Ange does well, yeah, though. Oh yeah, okay, yeah. yeah. And so Ange then, last time we spoke, um, obviously we made that infamous Eddie Howe video. <laughs> I'll probably uh, wait for things to be confirmed until uh, the, the until we go thing. that big. Yeah, yeah. Pretty certain that Eddie Howe's going to be the new Celtic manager. What are your thoughts on that? Um, what are your thoughts, firstly, on Ange? Had you heard of him before? No, absolutely not. I'd be lying if I say that. I know a few Celtic fans are saying that they recognise his name for like World Cup. But yeah. I was in Australia, but I yeah. Nah, I had heard him. Um, it was a complete unknown to me, so. You know, it's still, it's an unknown where we're yeah. going, but uh, you know, first impressions have been decent. And so, has Ange said anything, done anything that makes you think, oh, he's the right man for the job? Like, is there anything that stood out and you go, he's the man for us? Uh, I think just so far, the style of football, I, yeah. I like going forward, I know defensively we've been hopeless, don't get me wrong. Yeah. But moving forward, it looks exciting, it looks as though it's going to be really entertaining. Yeah. Um, and he just sounds great, you know, he sounds like he's, he's, he's taking no prisoners and he's got the right sort of attitude. So, I'm, I'm excited, I feel like it's going to be completely different from what we've seen in the past. Yeah, for sure.
And you've been it. You've actually been back since, haven't you? Now you we went to a game. Yeah. Yeah. This is normal, but it's not and um, so your first home game, talking about coming back and being inside Celtic Park, your first home game is at Tynecastle, isn't it? Oh, yes, sorry, first right. league I, game is at Tynecastle. Are you confident for it? Hearts away? Uh, well, after last night, the confidence has taken a bit of a knock. Yeah. But listen, at the, at the end of the day, Hearts have just came up for the, with the championship. Celtic yeah. should be beating Hearts. It's always difficult. I won't, I won't underestimate them. Um, but we have the better team. We have the better manager. Um, so I'm, I'm expecting us to go and get three points. We can start the season then, but when Ange needs his first competitive win as well. Yeah, do you think it would like, I'd obviously kick off the season so poorly if you get knocked out of Champions League and don't win as well? Like, Aye. Well, that's the thing. People, like, I'm not saying I will necessarily, but the fans will start getting on his back. Yeah. Like, people will start already because he wasn't the first choice for the job. People haven't heard of him. It's going to happen, actually. Fans will start to think yeah. that we made the right decision here, so he needs to win. I did a video just recently where um, I did a poll and asked a lot of people where they thought Celtic could finish. Mm -hmm. A lot of people, and I think this is probably due to the fact that a lot of people who follow me might not be Celtic fans. Yeah. A lot of them said that Aberdeen would finish above Celtic this season. <laughs> I can't see it happening myself. Obviously, nah. it's not happened for a very, very long time. Oh, I think it would be mad if, if that was to happen. Like, we're still miles like, beyond yeah. Aberdeen in terms of our squad. I think uh, so, yeah. And plus, they're going through a, a change as well. They've got a new manager, so I think it would be ridiculous. If it did happen, I, I, I honestly don't think I'd be surprised. <laughs> Let's hope it's not another Eddie Howe oh, type Christ, video where we look exactly, back. But we should be finishing second. If we don't, it's an absolute joke. Yeah, I was going to say, what are your thoughts for the league this season and sort of predictions and where you <laughs> Finish and Obviously, stuff. I'd love to win it. Like that's that's where you should be. You should yeah. be wanting to win the league. But if you're being realistic about it, it's about improving on last year. No being 25 points behind and hopefully give Rangers somewhat of a push or a challenge for that title. Um, but if I see signs of improvement and we look as though we could go and win it in the next couple of years, I'd be very happy with that. And this is probably the first time in about a decade that Celtic aren't favourites for the yeah. title, which is absolutely mad if you think about it. But. Is it a strange feeling? Is it something that they can use as a positive? They won't have that pressure, do you think, as um, last year? Well, I, it'll be, it, it's weird to say because obviously it's a new manager and everything else, so you don't know how they're, he's going to take it. But for me, you know, last, as you said, 10 years, I was 11, 12 years old the last time we were favourites to win yeah, the league. Yeah. So I've just kind of grew up through my whole teenage years. Dominating the Prem, yeah. Being like, oh, we're going to win the league this year. So it'll be weird to see how the players adjust to that, how the fans adjust to it. I think there's a lot of people who are going to have a, a kind of culture shock when they realise it's not as easy as what it should be. Yeah, so yeah. we'll wait and see what happens. Yeah, fair enough. Are you happy with the current squad? And if not, like what sort of positions do you think need filling? Happy with it going forward. We've, we've, we've added strength there and we've still got a lot of our best players. Um, but defensively, there's no way you can be happy with that. Um, I think Ange has already voiced that as well. We need a right back. We need we need two right backs. Yeah. We need probably another centre back. We need a left back. And as most recently we've been shown, we need a goalkeeper as well. So you're talking about a complete renovation in yeah. uh, that back line. And we need to do that soon, we've not got a lot of time to waste there. Of course, and um, names, like anyone in particular who you're looking at, you think he'd be absolutely class uh, Well, the boy Buta that's apparently coming for Antwerp, he looks like he could be good, I think he'd fit the system. Uh, Centre backs, you know, I, I, I just take anybody at this point. I yeah. think it's uh, is it Itakura, his name is, the boy from Man City, Japanese lad, I think he'd be good. Goalkeepers, it looks as though we're getting linked with Joe Hart. Personally, not a big Joe Hart fan. Yeah. It might well, be the pressure at Celtic Park, you never like he, His career went downhill as soon as Pep Guardiola exactly, kicked him out of City, exactly. so you never know, yeah. Um, so, you know, if he's better than Barkas and Bain, then I suppose he could yeah. do. But, you know, those are the positions. Could have resurrected his career a move like that, come it to a massive could, club I mean, like Celtic. Yeah. So it, it, could, it could work, I just don't know if it's time for risk. And of the current squad, who are you um, Who are you looking out for, like to be like a key man this season? I think the, the key man's going to be, I've been saying it all season I think Callum McGregor I yeah. think getting the arm bad um, just after scoring Scotland's only goal with the Euros yeah. and then just looking like a different player in pre-season I think he's going to have a big big year and this could be after what was a, a, an anonymous season from last year could be a big one this year yeah and obviously Brownie's gone and Callum McGregor is the captain yeah. now are you happy with that choice for him to Aye, it, step it was, in? it was an actual choice I don't yeah. think it was anybody else I think there was maybe a bit of a conversation for Christopher Ayer but, he, but obviously he's gone yeah. now and he's been in so long I think McGregor's yeah he's going up playing for Celtic he's, he knows what it's all about and he's yeah. up to the best so yeah Absolutely. Well, mate, all the best for the rest of the season. Wish you, wish you all, the, all the best of luck for it. Um, and yeah, just let everyone know, like again, where they can find you and what you've got coming up and yeah, all that kind of stuff. Yeah, uh, find me on YouTube, uh, Ryan118, as I said, Twitter, and Ryan Stephen F. And 
local book, podcast, more rants, more everything this yeah. season, just whatever you need to take stuff. Legend, love your content, man. All the best. Really sorry about all the wind in this video today. It was the same in this outro, so I'm just going to do it here now really quickly for you guys. But yeah, basically a huge, huge thank you to Ryan for coming on the channel. Always good to chat to him and get his opinions on Celtic. What are your opinions on Celtic? Please drop them in the comments section below. Please remember to like and subscribe. I think at this point now, I'm about to say that there's some videos on screen. So yeah, I'll leave you with me now, just rambling away. But yeah, please do click on another video to carry on watching. Thank you very much and goodbye.